Hello, Dan Harvey for Imagineer Systems here with a look at advanced VFX in the timeline with the Mocha Pro 5 plugin for Avid Media Composer. In this example I'd like to remove the modern signage from this shot and replace it with vintage signage for a period drama. I plan to use the remove tool on the wall sign but I have a problem. I'm not able to see behind the sign so I can't replace it automatically. I'll need to create a clean plate and use that for the remove. I'll begin by selecting the Mocha Pro plugin from the effect palette and dragging it to the V2 segment on my timeline. Now I'll hit launch Mocha Pro to open the full Mocha UI. The dialog box alerts me to the fact that I'm working at proxy resolution. In this case I'm going to cancel and switch back to full resolution so that I can export a full resolution clean plate from Mocha. I'll select the Create X-Blind tool and plot around the background area that I'm going to use for my remove. I'll include a little bit more of the plane on the left so that I can track the background area as it moves out of frame. Now I'll plot a shape for the foreground area that I want to remove. I'll marquee to select all of its vertices and set the edge softness for the shape. In layer properties I'll unlink this shape from its own track and link it to the track on the background shape. This will allow me to use the tracking information from the larger area in order to track this shape as it moves off screen. I don't want to track the background shape through the whole shot so I'll select it and set an out point as required in layer properties. I'll increase the number of pixels used for tracking and enable perspective in order to improve the precision of my track and hit track forward to begin the tracking process. Now both the background and foreground remove shapes are linked to the track on the background shape. I'll fine tune the foreground shape to allow for the occluding sign. Auto key is enabled so a keyframe is set every time I adjust the shape on a different frame. Now I'll switch to the remove menu. I can import or create clean plates here. I'll hit create to export an image file for the current frame and save it to the desktop. Now I'll load the clean plate image into Photoshop, work on it with the clone brush and overwrite it when I'm done. Now I'll return to Mocha. The modified clean plate will be loaded automatically for the remove so I'll go to a frame in the middle of the clip, hide the shape overlays and hit render single frame to view the result. This artifact from the occluding sign results from the fact that Mocha is trying to replace this frame automatically but the area isn't masked out correctly. I'll correct this by selecting the use clean plates exclusively option. Now the clean plate image will be used for removal on all frames. I'll undo the render as I plan to render the effect in the Avid timeline. I'll save the Mocha project and exit. I'll open the Module Renders option in the Avid Effect menu, select which effect to render, in this case the Remove, and enable Render. Now the Remove is rendered interactively as I scrub. Next I'd like to replace the modern signage with the vintage signage I have in V1. I'll select the Mocha Pro plugin from the Effects palette and Alt drag it to V2 to add another instance of Mocha and launch the Mocha UI. Note how the insert layer is set to first below. This will use V1 for the insert clip. I'll select the x blind tool, plot a shape around the sign and right click to close it. I'll right click and drag on the tension handle to straighten all of the vertices on the shape. I'll increase the percentage of pixels used for tracking and enable perspective. Now I'll hit the track forward button to begin tracking. Before the shape goes out of frame I'll stop and increase the size of the shape so that I can track it off screen. Now I'll enable the surface tool and position it as required for the insert.
Now I'll delete the keyframes I've set on my shape and fine tune it so that I can use it to mask my insert clip later. I'll select all of its vertices and set soft edges and edge properties to help with the edge blending. Now I'll select my insert clip in layer properties to insert the clip in V1 and it moves with the track. I'll switch to the insert menu and adjust the scaling and edge position as required in the source tab. Next I'll switch to the comp tab and apply the soft edge shape as a mask for the comp before saving and exiting back to Avid. I'll select insert from module render options and enable render to see the result interactively. As a finishing touch I'll add colour correction to V1 and adjust that in context. As I toggle the effect layers on and off we can see the results rendered interactively to the Avid timeline. Thanks for watching. To find out more about Mocha Pro 5 for Avid and for other hosts including Nuke, Resolve and After Effects, check out the tutorials on imagineersystems.com.